something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the Reese Tow Power 1000 pound lift capacity, 10 inches of travel. It's the bolt-on swivel trailer jack. This behind me here that I'm sitting on is a carry-on 5x8 utility trailer that I picked up from Lowe's. Track Supply sells them, Home Depot sells them. They're everywhere, basically. This is the 5x8 with mesh bottom. Total capacity or total weight of this thing is like 375, so no problem using this on it. And I figured I'd show you how to install this because there's probably some folks out there that are not as mechanically minded, shall we say, as others. And this is a pretty simple task to do, so I'd go ahead and show it off. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box, and we'll take a look at what it comes with. All right, first box here, we've got, uh, looks like some brackets. This is probably what we're attaching it to the frame with. Then we have our main unit here with a very wrinkled up manual. <laughs> that manual's pretty rough. All right, it says here, talks about uh, height and distance and all that good stuff. I'll go over that, of course. And then we've got our wheel, so apparently it doesn't come with the wheel mounted from the factory. Probably to save space on shipping, but that's a good solid round wheel the bolt that goes with that. But that's probably your handle. Yep, that's our crank handle there. Alright, give me a second. I'll get all this stuff laid out and we will put it on. The very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to attach the wheel and you can see right here is where it goes. I'm just going to loosen that up. And we'll install that. You see there's a spacer there. That goes in between. We slide the wheel back into place. Start that up and we'll tighten that down. The spacer, I assume, yeah, is going to make sure that we don't over tighten it. And it's a locking washer, so that'll help as well. Cool. We'll move on up here and we have to attach our handle, and that's going to be a 17. There we go. One thing I do want you to see is it does have some grease points. There's one there. Looks like that's the only one on this one. Some of the models um, have another one here for this fitting here, but this one, this one doesn't. All right, we're already ready to move on. So it's just finding the right location. In this case, and it fits beautifully right there. And so you're gonna be using these braces here along the back side to hold things in place. Well, what I'm going to do is test fit this and then make sure I have enough room to swing the arm up. And either do it. Once I got it kind of where I want it, I'll hold it in place and like I said, we'll snug it down and see if we need to make any adjustments. Right, so that's... I think I might want to go a little bit farther back just in case I'm making a tight turn here. That might be a problem. So we'll slide it a little bit more, but other than that, I think, I think we're in pretty good. So let me do that. I'll loosen it up just a little bit. Yeah, I like that better right there. All right, let's tighten it back. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It's not, not a very long video because it's not a very complicated job. Pull the pin, rotate it down, rotate that to bring it down. Um, the last two things I'm going to do, I'm going to get my sawzall and I'm going to cut these off so I don't cut myself when I'm trying to do this. 
and I'm going to grease that grease fitting right there. Beyond that, it just works. I noticed that it's at an angle a little bit, and at first I thought maybe I had done something wrong, but it appears that that's the design of this thing. It actually pushes out a little farther here, so that's, that's how it's supposed to look. And you could tuck it in the opposite way there, so it doesn't really matter which way you lock it if you're running into something. It'll work no matter what. Well, like I said, not a very difficult job to do, but for those of you out there who are buying one of these things and you're curious on to how to install it, there you go. Till next time, my friends, take care.